So, I'm going to teach you guys how to use the abacus. Wonderful tool. So, to start off with, this is an abacus. And the bottom beads are worth units of one. So, from the right, we have one, two, three, four. Top beads are worth five. So, that's six, seven, eight, nine. Next row is units of 10. So that's 10. And um, from there we have 20, 30, 40. That's 50. Remember, top units are units of 5 of the bottom units. So, second row, the top one is worth 50. Now that's 100. Because the third row is the hundreds. Those are the top rows are the fives, bottom rows are the ones. And from right to left, you increase in units of ten, hundred, thousand, ten thousand, etc., etc. So that's basically how things work. That's remember fifty. Okay. So Next, just show you this is going to be a really big number, all of ones. So this number has 13 ones in it, but yeah, whatever. We're just going to get rid of that. So we're going to do an addition problem now. And to start off with, addition is really easy on the abacus. To start off, we'll put the top digit 3,572 on our abacus. So I'm just going to do that real quick. Alright. So now that we have that, we're going to proceed. Just cleaning things up a little bit. Alright. So we're going to proceed to add from the right we had the 9. We add that in the 1's unit. So that gives us 11. So we add 11 to that. And we, we take away the uh, 2 and then we add 11. So then we do it to the next step. Adding to it to the next thing. And then after that we add the four. So that goes up to that. And we carry the one. And then we add two from our two thousand. So we add that. And we're gonna have five thousand and one. So just real quick before we work on this multiplication problem. Remember, um, basically all you have to do is just add the, take the first number and then add the second number to it just by adding it with the abacus, just putting the number on it, and you just follow the rules of the abacus, where if you get nine units and you add one, you just add another to the other side. So it's pretty, pretty straightforward. So next we're going to do a multiplication problem. And real quick before we do, it's the same multiplication algorithm used by hand. It's just you use the abacus to keep track. And what's really cool is when you're using the abacus, remember all of that adding that you uh, do at the very end of the multiplication algorithm? Because you multiply each row or column thing. And uh, at the very end you add them all together. Well, the abacus is going to do that for us as we progress, so we don't have to worry about that. So we only have to concentrate on the multiplication and just making sure that we're in the same place, in the right place. So for this problem, we want to keep the uh, the problem in front of us on paper, just so that we don't forget. So the first step is we did three times two, which was All right, six. So our next step three is times one, which is three, and three times nine, which is twenty-seven. The sixty and the four hundred and sixty-three. Right, that was pretty quick. Pretty so easy. we get six times two, which is twelve. So we add the two first to 
the second column, not the first, because remember in the multiplication algorithm, we move it over to the left because it's really 60 times 2. All right, so now that we've got the 12 from that added, we add the 6, and that goes over to the next. And then now we do 6 times 9, which is 54. So first we add the 4 to both to that fourth column. 1, 2, 3, 4. Now the 50, so that's just a pretty easy thing to do. Alright, so now we only have one more step left, and that's to do the 400 part of the 463. So we start at the third column, and we do 4 times 2, which is 8. So we add that to our third column. Next we do 4 times 1. So we add 1, 2, 3, 4 and carry that one over there that we added. And then 4 times 9, which is 36. So we add the 1 to that, and then the 3 to the next place. So that gives us our answer, which is 422,256, just, just for so that you know. Anyway, thanks for watching my video, and I hope you enjoyed the music, which was Enescu's Romanian Rhapsody.